Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to use any Android phone as a sensor panel or secondary monitor the easy way. Without any further ado let's get straight into it. Alright, here is a list of things you will need. You need a Android phone. Any Android phone is enough but I recommend at least a dual core processor and 1 gigabyte of RAM. A charging cable with data transfer capability. A cable that has just charging function won't do. A PC obviously. And that's it. That's all you will need. First of, download the file in the description and extract it. The password is shown in the archive itself and also in the description. There are three files present. One is to be installed in your Android phone. The other in your PC. And the other is just a text file showing the password. Leave that and let's start configuring the PC first. Step 2. Install the application. You will not get this page, I did because I had already installed it earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it for you anyway. Once it's installed the application should start automatically. Step 3. Let's configure it now. Make sure to set frame rate to high. Set the quality according to your Android device's performance. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy A5 2017. Since it has 3 GB of RAM and 8 cores I can set the quality to high. Set yours accordingly. Step 4. Make sure drivers for your Android device is installed. Step 5. Head to advanced and make sure to check this box that says enable auto launch. That's all we need to do on the PC, let's head to the phone. Step 6. Head to settings and enable USB debugging. This will be in the developer options menu. If you don't see developer option go to about device, then software information, then tap build version 7 times. Mine is done already. Step 7. Install the given APK. This APK is modded to start your device screen even if it is in sleep that is why it is necessary to use the APK given with the archive. Open the app once it is installed. There is not much to configure in the mobile app. Head to settings and make sure disable screen dim is activated. Now plug in the phone to the PC and allow the debugging prompt also check the box that says always allow from this computer. The screen should flicker and your phone should now be the second monitor. Click the Windows plus P key and click extend. You can now change resolution and settings according to your wish. The last step is to change your lock screen type to none and change screen timeout to 1 minute. You can now use any monitoring applications on the second display. I am using NZXT Cam as it looks good and has almost all necessary sensors. I will give more alternatives in the description below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video if it helped you and please do consider subscribing to my channel if you like my content. See you in the next one.